Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's fourth video. We're going to be looking at the ECM Dome Effect Steady Bar for today's uh, fourth video where they focus on the UK and Ireland. So this is your EC 42 day slash six weeks look at for the UK and Ireland. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video release today was our 6am UK weather forecast. We've also released Jeremy Friday at a 10 to 14 day as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all today's videos and content. Thank you so much everybody for joining yeah, now I'm a little bit off course. I'm not sure if I'm live streaming or not as I'm recording this video at uh, half ten on Thursday, 21st of September. Not sure if I'll be doing a Friday night live stream or not. I shall let everybody know through the community page and the social media channels whether we're uh, on for a Friday night live uh, this week or not. So just watch this space on that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much to ECM at WUF. ECMWF.int for supplying the charts as well. Thank you so much, EC. Right, let's start off with week one. Um, mean cell pressure normally going from the 25th of September, 2nd of October. So next week, we'll see low pressure out in the Atlantic, a ridge of high pressure. It's over on the east side of Europe, and we'll be bringing in the wind from off the Atlantic like that. Looks unsettled then for next week. The 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic North Pole view down has a trough of low pressure in the Atlantic ridge. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody uh, shifting to the east side of Europe, and winds again coming in from a west or a southwesterly direction. So temperature anomalies next week are warmer than average warm and average temperatures are to come around one to three degrees above normal quite widely across not just the UK but through most parts of West Germany. In fact, further eastwards, many places are even warmer than that at around uh, 3 to 6 degrees above average. Uh, but also a little bit unsettled as well, especially for more western regions where we do see uh, above average rainfall, not as wet over in the east, but overall quite an unsettled and mixed week next week. Uh, week two, by the way, we're still getting into November. We're still going to for November, but more about that later. Uh, week two will be the second to the ninth of October. So uh, next week we'll see, or the following week we'll see low pressure away to the northwest. It's high pressure towards France and also Germany. That should continue to bring the wind up from that uh, southerly southwesterly direction. Five hundred millibar heights next week. Showing that we've got or in two weeks' time, uh, showing that we've got above average heights to our south and east and blower pressure out the Atlantic again. <coughs> Excuse me, again, every wind's coming up from a southwesterly direction. The temperature anomaly from the 2nd to the 9th of October is above average once again. Another pretty warm week to come. And precipitation looks like that. So wetter than average to our north and west, but drier than average to our south. Week 3 will be the 9th to 16th of October. Um, so that week, the third week, got low pressure at all green ice and, and also to our south, otherwise it's put in uh, a question mark, but we don't need to sing Marvin. Now, the 500 millibar heights showing an area of above average heights sitting across the northwest Europe and out into the Atlantic, so that looks quite anti-cyclonic that week, doesn't it? Still remaining uh, warm and average as well, above average temperatures continuing. And as far as precipitation is concerned, not much of a signal there, to be honest. But you would have thought with above average heights it's across the northwest, you're up to be dry. Uh, week would be likely. Week four will be the 16th to the 23rd of October. Low pressure is edging into the south. So it could, could be turning wetter into the second half of October, particularly into more southern parts of the country. How's the 500 millibar heights looking? Taking the high pressure, the above average heights northwards, so starting to think that it's becoming a bit of a northern blocking feature. Could there be some lower pressure through here? What's the temperature of normally doing? So it's still uh, slightly above average. Going more towards the salmon pink rather than the deep pink, which is like average to just a little bit above normal and rainfall wise so it looks wetter to the south actually that could be turning quite wet into the second half of october through france and into england and wales drier out to the north and to the west okay week five will be the 23rd of october to the 30th let's have a look 
looking quite unsettled. So definitely a more unsettled second half to October compared to the first half, with quite a bit of low pressure into uh, much of Western Europe. By a bunch of Millibar heights looking like that. So presumably they're going to be uh, a trough of low pressure coming in here from off the Atlantic. You would have thought the temperature anomaly remains average to slightly above. And uh, precipitation-wise looks unsettled. So definitely turning wetter into the second half of October here compared to the first half of the month, which does look relatively dry and anticyclonic. And then lastly, week six would be the 30th of October to 6th of November. Here we go. And uh, we see we've got low pressure to our south down here and in the Atlantic to some degree. How is the 500 millibar height looking? So with time it does look as though the high pressure is retreating away to eastern parts of Europe. So I imagine just turning more unsettled, I think, as we're going from October into November, just increasing the Atlantic flow and moving the high pressure away. I think, and the temperature anomaly, again, it's average to ever so slightly above, certainly no sign of anything cold to it in the next six weeks, is there? Um, precipitation wise, really weak signal, but does imply that it's relatively unsettled, I think, across much of northern and western Europe, and potentially out of the Atlantic, so I think we probably are looking at quite a wet spell setting up from the second half of October, maybe lasting into early November. Right, so that's it for uh, another another week. So, um, of course, it's just a snapshot of what the modelling show could look, could look a bit different when we look at this again next week. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with uh, health warnings and large pinches of salt attached. Uh, we're going to have a look at this one again for wider European outlook for next Tuesday, and then we'll do the UK and Ireland focus uh, video next Saturday um, with this one. Um, tomorrow, the reason it's been shunted back to uh, Friday this week is that tomorrow we're going to have the first winter 2023-24 season model roundup, getting all of the long range models together to see what they're all showing for winter 2023-24 for only the uh, for, uh, for, uh, for only the first time this season. So uh, that will be released at 10 a.m. to our big, big video to come tomorrow. Um, um, anyway, for this one, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Look out on the community page and whatnot to see whether we're streaming uh, later on or not. But for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.